not turn my back on her. Mm. Um, Tiani for laughing at her when people talked about her. And God for not praying as much. Yeah, somebody else Daddy, like this? You Daddy, Daddy, and mom for not doing my homework. Okay, Daddy. Um, please forgive me. Yes, God, place forgiveness in their hearts. Please, God, place forgiveness in their hearts. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I want God to forgive me for all the times I kept walking away, for all the stuff he told me to say that I refused to say, and the stuff he told me to do that I refused to do. I want my mom to forgive me for giving her such a hard time when I was younger, for not understanding what she was going through at the time and how being a single mom can be hard, and for getting into trouble just to spite her. And for falling off the path that she wanted me to be on. I want to ask my granddad for forgiveness because after my mom put me out, he took me in and I took advantage of that and I didn't respect him the way I should have. I want Allison to forgive me um, because I feel like God placed her in my life where I can help her and I allow what demons were on her made me just say, forget it, I'm not going to finish it. And I said stuff about her that I wasn't supposed to say and I did stuff um, that I wasn't supposed to do. But Adrian, forgive me just for all the mean comments and every time I cussed her out and all that. She know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, I want Katrina to give me for every time that I walked away, for every time that you know, I said that I was just done and forced her to have to, you know, deal with that when she was dealing with her own stuff. And I want Will to forgive me for not telling him stuff that God told me to tell him. And who knows how that could have helped him. And I just ignored it. Uh, April to forgive me just for anything bad I ever said about her. My cousin Jessica to forgive me for anything bad I ever said about her. My cousin Charmaine forgive me for all the times where she had helped me and the times where she needed help from me and I wouldn't give it. And my brother Travis to forgive me for shutting him out and severing that relationship for a long time. My grandma for to forgive me for because I didn't have a relationship with her because of the resentment I had for my dad. So I never tried to build a relationship with her, even though she reached out to me over and over again. And I just, <laughs> I just refused to build a relationship with her because I was mad at my dad. Uh, my teacher, all my teachers from high school, from Winter Park High School, I'm so sorry. I was horrible, and I apologize from the bottom of my heart because I put you guys through some things. I tell you, I did, but. Especially, my, I can't even remember your name right now, but my one uh, teacher from health um, in class one time, I completely disrespected you doing the exercise you were trying to do, and I was trying to be funny, and I really said some mean stuff, and I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I want Jermaine to forgive me because there were times where he really needed help, and I just wasn't available to help him. I want all my God kids to forgive me because I took on the responsibility that sometimes it's too much for me and sometimes your, your moms will call me and say that they need this or that or that. What? <laughs> and you know, tell me how they're struggling and I feel as though me as your God mom, they made me your God mom because I'm supposed to be able to help them and sometimes when they call me and tell me they're struggling with this, struggling like that, I feel like I should be able to tell them I can help you with something. To my dad, Tori, I forgive you because I just completely had you as like nonchalant. Like I was just not going to build a relationship with you like you were insignificant for all the times I said that you were just a spark over. Mm -hmm. uh, my cousin Tamika for disrespecting your house. You know, I had all kind of people in your house. I drank and smoked in your house and I knew 
that you were trying to live a certain way and I still disrespected your house. And to my Uncle Eddie for having bad thoughts about the relationship you have with my mom, that's none of my business and I'm sorry. I ask that you place forgiveness, God, in their hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. Swing down, chair and stop and let me ride home. Swing down, chair and stop and let me ride home. Rock me, Lord, rock me, Lord, coming easy. I got a home on the other side, yeah. Six, five horses standing side by side, oh. Six, five horses standing side by side, oh. Rock me, Lord, rock me, Lord, coming easy. I got a home on the other side, yes, swing down chair and stop and let me ride, oh, swing down chair and stop and let me ride, oh, rock me, Lord, rock me, Lord, come and easy, I got a home on the other side, yeah, swing low and let me ride. I just want to take this time out to just say thank you, Lord, for everything. Thank you, Lord, for another day. Thank you, Lord, for family, friends holding on, holding your word up, your name up. Thank you for breath. Thank you for heat. Thank you for lights. Thank you for food. Thank you for good health, me and my family, our loved ones. Thank you for everyone being here, being safe, Father. Thank you for what you're working out on our behalf. And I just thank you, Father. I just thank you for even placing on our spirits to do this exercise. To build us up for something greater. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Jesus, for everything you've done for me. And thank you for what you brought me through. Thank you for the testings that you sent to me. I know if you wouldn't have sent me these tests, I would have never known how strong I really was when I got you in my corner. So I thank you for that. Thank you for the family, friend. Thank you for Cuzzo. Cuzzo! Cuzzo! <laughs> <laughs> my wife, my kids, everybody that's in my circle. I thank you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. I got another song. I don't I don't know who this song is for, but this song needs to be somebody need to hear this. When God is in the building, the sin sick are healed. When can you feel him in the building? He's moving in the building And we thank you Lord for blessing us And filling this place So I don't know who needed that But just remember when God is in the building Everything shake off and break The dead can be risen The sick and lame are healed The weak are made strong Late in the midnight hour, God's gonna turn it around. It's gonna work in our favor. Late in the midnight hour, God's gonna turn it around. He's gonna turn it around. It's gonna work in our favor. Late in the midnight hour, God's gonna turn it around.